Hey guys, it's Chase again, and today we're going to be making a craft. Today we are going to be making Spongebob notebooks. It's a back to school craft, and I'll be using this notebook. If you want to know what this text says, it says sub notebook. This is actually my mom's. So, let's get started. So, this is what you need. You need a lot of construction paper. You need yellow, brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of black, and, well, I don't have it right now, but a little bit of blue. You also need, whatever cracker needs, scissors. Safety scissors will indeed work. You also need glue. So, let's go ahead and get started with step okay. one. Step one is to cut the construction paper the width of the notebook. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have done that. Cut it the exact weight. Now what you got to do is glue it all on, which I will do without a time lapse. I don't have much glue in here, so let's go ahead and get some. As my art teacher always says, a little dot means a lot. I just went ahead and did it like this, so let's turn it over and place it on. And now, we can let it dry for a while. Hey guys, I'm back again. And today, I mean not today, I mean now, we're going to do, as you know, the Spongebob part. Okay, and now we have to proceed to step, step no. two. You need another sheet of paper. Now what you got to do is cut it out Spongebob's head. Okay, I'll go ahead and do a time lapse since it might be a little bit frustrating. Hey guys, I accidentally messed up, so I need to redo it. So now you have to get the brown part. I know, this is where I messed up. And you can measure it on SpongeBob's body. If when, right when you got it, when it covers whole SpongeBob like this, you got to use this as a trace and cut it out. If you already glued down the SpongeBob, don't worry, you could still use it anyway. Sometimes you might chip off a little bit of the SpongeBob, but it's no worries. And it'll still turn out completely fine. So, I'll s never mind. <laughs> okay, so now what you gotta do is just cut it out. Should look something like what, what you did for the SpongeBob. Now what you gotta do is cut two little slits right here. One slit. Two slit. Should look something like this. Now what you gotta do is get the glue again, and you gotta unscrew it. I already screwed my on. Always make sure to screw your glue. And get, need to get some on the top. I really have any of this. And we're just gonna get a little bit. Put it on the SpongeBob, not on the pants. After you do that, it should make a little ring like this. Get the pants and. I messed up. Everybody makes mistakes. It's, yeah. Now you gotta glue the pants down first. Then flip it over, set it down, and put some glue on yours truly, the SpongeBob. Eh. Glue. Almost out. Oh, my fingers hurt. Flip it over again. And lay your SpongeBob down. Now, we shall let it dry. See you in step.
trace. Okay, we've let it dry. Now we need to do one more, sorry, one more thing. You need to draw. Now, go ahead and get up, like I'm doing, and get a black or brown marker. I really prefer black, and this actually might not work. And what you gotta do is start drawing holes. Like I'm doing. You gotta draw a lot and a lot and a lot of holes, but don't make them even because SpongeBob's holes aren't even. And now, and you think you did enough holes? I think I did. Good part. Now, what you gotta do is draw a big dot and another big dot should look like this and we're not going for the perfect spongebob and now you gotta get a blue marker and color in the eyes gotta just do an outline of the eyes like this I'll show it to you it looks a little bit sick but we should do it right. <laughs> and now, after you've outlined the blue, I actually think I should use some better blue, um, you should get another black and draw pupils. Your SpongeBob should look like this. Um, and now, what you gotta do, sorry my dad's calling me, what you gotta do is you gotta make a smile right below your eyes. And now do another smile that's even deeper under it. Look like this. And now, as you can see, give them two tiny little buck teeth. Now you got your face as a SpongeBob. I know, we're not going for the perfect one. Now, what you gotta do now is get a brown marker and make his pants. I know we already did, but we gotta make the bottom of his pants. Hehe, <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Child humor. SpongeBob should look like this. I gotta do a little bit more. This part. This. Now, what you gotta do is, is, um, a yellow marker. I can't get a yellow marker, so I'm just gonna use a yellow crayon. Now, I'll make a little stick, a barely any, a little stick right below the leg. See that turned a little yellow? Now, I'm gonna, now get the black piece of paper and cut it out and chew. Shoo! It's tiny. SpongeBob has tiny feet. So now what you gotta do next is get a teeny bit, teeny teeny bit more of glue. And now spray it right under the yellow sticks. BTW. The yellow sticks are his legs. Tap it. Now, we only have one more step before our SpongeBob is complete. Can you guess what it is? That's right, arms. Now, you've gotta get some yellow construction paper and cut it out into one big line. Take your glue and put a ton of glue on the yellow piece of paper that you just got. Should, if you've done it correctly, which I think all you awesome viewers did, this. Should look like that. And if you can't see, then it had a little bit of glue 
on it. So now, I can't believe I'm going to do this. i got to cut some off. I messed up. you got to make it so his arms are at the right place. You don't want a weird, weird Spongebob with weird, weird arms. And now you got to cut it one more time. Same length as the other one. i got to probably make it a little bit smaller. And looks like I dropped it. Okay, this. Now you still got to get a little bit more glue. And put it on the other side. Tap it a little bit. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Your SpongeBob should look like this. Now, what you need to do is get a black marker and draw three little lines. Actually, not three. Draw four little lines on your hand. And now for finishing touch if you want, get the red and make a tiny little bow tie. How to make this, you just get the edge of one, the edge of a paper, put it in, now get this part and make it out. Your tiny, tiny little bow tie should look like this. Put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue on it. Just like a tiny little dot. I don't think that's even enough. And uh, I think I used to pull my glue for this craft. Put a tiny, tiny bit of glue. Eh, dropped it. This is much hard. You guys are probably like sleeping your heads off night right now. Now, glue it on, and there you have it. We have your DIY SpongeBob notebook. Please subscribe, and for more videos, yay! I'll make some more craft videos later. Goodbye, everybody.